Hey there, this is Jay. Um, for those of you that have been following my uh, YouTube channel, uh, waiting for uh, lightsaber videos, um, it's going to be a while because I've been playing around with this, especially there haven't been very many over the last couple of years. This is why uh, I bought this back in uh, uh, June of 2018. I've been uh, slowly fixing her up and piecing things back together on it, and I've just finished uh, putting a nice buff and wax job on, on the sides of the car because the top of the car has been... Uh, uh, not finished with the paint uh, Previous owner painted it and it's full of dirt runs orange peel, etc, etc um, So that still needs to be wet sanded and buffed up up there But I have done the sides before and I thought it would just be a you know good time to do it again Back it out in the Sun and take some pictures of it. Maybe even shoot a little video of it. So here we go uh, This is a 1972 Chevy Nova. Uh, I wanted one of these since I was in high school um, This one happened to come along a couple years ago Sitting in the guy's front yard for sale out in the country. And my dad saw it and thought, hey, why don't you go take a look at that? Because I've been, you know, I've been looking for some kind of old car hot rod project thing just to, to use as a, basically a play toy. And uh, that's kind of what this has turned into. It's just mainly, mainly a play toy. Um, the bodywork's not the greatest. Uh, it does have some rust and lots of, uh, right down there, there's a rust hole in that fender down there. There's spots where it's bubbling up in the bottoms of the doors here and there. But the, the paint is at least shiny and Sparkles. <laughs> My wife actually thinks it's kind of, kind of nice. But uh, everybody else that sees it likes it too because it's different. Not, not too many of these are painted anywhere near this kind of color. Um, you see, we've also got uh, I put the BF Goodrich tires on it because it needed it had still had poly glass tires on it when I got it. Um, those are vintage Rocket Racing uh, two-piece. Aluminum and steel chrome plated rims. Now, the chrome isn't the greatest on them, but uh, it, they match up with the rest of the chrome on the car. Um, it's all pitted. And let's see this uh, tail lamp nuzzle, the bumper, and all that. Got a lot of pits in it, scratches and scuffs. It's showing its age. I guess a lot of people call that patina. I got some rust on the trunk here. Uh, now, the exhaust system, I put that on myself. I did, most well, no, I didn't put it on myself. I put the headers on. Had the rest of it installed at a local shop. Uh, it's a pipes, um, X pipe system made to fit uh, Novas and first generation Camaros. Um, <clears throat> I opted to go with a violator muffler. So what it's, it's idling, it kind of sounds like a tractor, but uh, sounds really good when you get out on the highway. <laughs> so driver's side, I had to change the steering wheel. I added the tachometer, typical tacky 80s style fashion. It's attached with a uh, <laughs> hose clamp. Uh, and we have a set of gauges over there we put in it. I had a set in there when I bought it, but they uh, were all mechanical, and my dad hates mechanical gauges, so those two are electric. Uh, well, except for the oil, oil pressure. The oil pressure gauge it was in here had a metal tube to feed it, and we hated that thing because it was always in the way. There was too much of it. It was too long. So we replaced it with this gauge that's in here, and that actually has... Uh, plastic tube for it as you can see the floors have been redone with uh, fiberglass you can see there's holes still the passenger side because that's what's lighting up uh, the seats or something uh, this was originally a bucket seat car uh, with a 307 and a three-speed on the floor here uh, we added the low car shifter just a few weeks ago uh, set up for an overdrive shifter but the car still has the 350 turbo and I have a overdrive I just need to get it rebuilt and get that installed um, the seats, uh, cheap Dickies seat covers on early 1980s Chevy buckets. I think they came out of a Chevette. Nice thing is, is they recline. The originals do not, uh, but I do have those. The seat covers on those are torn all to hell, and the uh, foam needs to be redone. Now, I know the the original ones. Uh, the the trim tag under the hood says it had the option for bucket seats with a black uh, standard interior. That's the rear seat. Mice got in it, chewed it up. Uh, the back, well, the top of the back seat got fried from years of having sunlight shine through the back window. Uh, somebody had duct taped it together. It was covered with the old '80s style Chevy pickup truck uh, cheap seat cover. I took that off and threw that out because that was rotten. So what I've been working on today is putting on some of the other trim pieces. Um, like over here, I just finished painting and reinstalled this A tr pillar trim, and I've been working on. I got this B pillar piece installed, and I'm working currently working on the sail panel back there. But the original bucket seats actually have the remains of the seat covers match this back seat. 
And every time I've looked online to try to find somebody that sells those, all I see are the custom and super sport seat covers. So I decided to go with the uh, these. The only problem with these ones here that we found out by Dad's barn. The problem with them is they're blue. No, they don't really match. So I could get these recovered. Okay, so that that'll cover that one. Yeah, I like it like this. This is how the stereo speakers were installed in that party. I I don't know why people do that. <laughs> So under the hood, well, originally, like I said, originally this car had a 307 and a three-speed on the floor. This now has a 350. Used formerly a uh, crate engine. I'm not sure uh, what it is, but it's either a 350, 355, 357. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. It runs pretty good. Now it's got an Elbrock 600 carburetor on it. Got their fuel system. I added the chrome radiator shroud because when I got it um, it had a six cylinder shroud attached and a radiator that was half plugged so we now have an aluminum radiator brand new fuel pump brand new water pump uh, let's fire it up Quiet, no rattles, no ticks, no knocks. <laughs> and the pipes violator exhaust. That's what it sounds like from behind. <laughs> Loud and obnoxious. That's, that's my new hobby. Uh, there might still be a few lightsabers once in a while, but I wouldn't count on it. This thing's just too much fun to play with. So, until next time, maybe it'll be a, a lightsaber video this next time around. You never know. But again, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.